Yo, what's up? This is Jay Dennis, and I'm back with another video. And this is going to be a little bit different than what I normally do, but rather rather than just this video being about the subject at hand and the individual at hand who happens to have a lot of influence, this video is ultimately to go against anybody that to this day, more than nine months in, is still not taking this pandemic seriously not wearing masks, and not having a regard for human life. I mean, to this day, hospitals are still packed. People are still dying. It's almost a, you know, five weeks after the election was called, and people are still dying. So we can put the rest, that entire notion that people would stop talking about this and stop dying as soon as Donald Trump was unseated. Fair and square. Nope. This thing was never fake. It's real. Myself and many others... No healthcare workers, no teachers, no grocery clerks that have been deeply affected by this. So for you to disregard that, it's despicable. And I'm coming with actual proof today. And the person we're going to talk about is somebody that I was once a part of, his uh, mentor group. You might wonder, why do I have such an axe to grind, an axe to grind with Brian Casella? It's not because I hate the man. It's because after spending so many months, so many dollars, and so much time dedicated to being one of his um, best students in his modern success program, I feel betrayed by the fact that this guy right here, and I know that's not a very flattering photo, truth be told, he's actually a very awesome specimen of a man who takes care of himself, and he does a lot of things in life at an elite level, but something that I've been talking about for the last few months is that everybody has a glaring flaw or a massive gap and his Achilles heel is unless he's grifting and playing some sort of game to get some sort of right-wing social media clout because there is a really big industry for that although it's becoming overly saturated at this point and you will be relevant in a few years if you keep doing this you are suspect or susceptible to conspiracy theory. So like I said, this isn't the most flattering photo of him. Uh, this was during a Modern Success lecture. Um, I knew I was going to use it for a meme someday, but I didn't think that I'd be using it in this way. But he has grown his hair out. Um, <laughs> that's that's obviously not him, but that's kind of what he looks like when he grows his hair out and says crazy things. But let, 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 let's go to something that's a little bit, you know, a little bit more flattering. Okay, that's better. All right, so this is Brian Casella. He... You know, he's a YouTuber, he's a real estate agent, he runs a mentorship group called Modern Success, but at this point, it's just a glorified real estate group. Um, as somebody that was in the group for a year and a half, I know what I'm talking about, and I've consumed almost all of his material and applied a lot of it, so I'm not just some nobody. So if Brian is watching this, and he thinks that he can just laugh this off, I'm coming armed with facts, proof, logic. And if you ever want to debate me and leave your conspiracy theories at the door, I will happily take you on. I never take you on physically. You would kick my ass, <laughs> but we're not here today to talk about physical strength. We're here today to talk about mental strength, mental gymnastics that he's gone through. He is spreading disinformation that is dangerous and is going to hurt people because people do look up to him and people do follow him. I used to, but I left that group around the start of the pandemic and it was really difficult, but I had to do it. So what are some of the things that I want to cover here? Well, like I said, he spreads a lot of conspiracy theory, um, but also he has large in-person gatherings. Uh, generally twice a year, um, him and his group, and sometimes it's more people than this. This was probably a smaller gathering because pandemic and flying is stupid, but people will still get together and not wear masks. And I even put the caveat in there. I said, hey, if you all quarantined and did this, I'll be less harsh on you. But that's probably not the case because people have laughed off my critiques or my concerns. But, you know, and here's another recent one. And a lot of it is the same people. But even if I gave you the benefit of the doubt and you were playing it safe, this is still highly irresponsible. You still have large lunch and learn gatherings at your office. And it's just not wise. I don't wish this illness on any of you, but the fact that nobody has caught it yet is 
remarkable. Or maybe you have and you're not telling anybody. But anyway, and then here's another one. And again, this is on his Instagram. So if you follow him on Instagram or you follow his personal YouTube channel, The Brian Casella Show, you can see more of his personal side. I'm not here to discredit his real estate knowledge or his expertise on that. I'm here to talk about him and his personal beliefs, if they're really congruent with who he is as a man. So yeah, first night, Team BC Mastermind. Ooh, yeah. And and obviously, there's more people than that. The, the, the camera pans longer. And if you have any issues with me calling you guys stupid or anything... Um, I think you guys may have been in modern success long enough to kind of be able to just write off these little jabs. So if you want to just kind of focus more on the substantive stuff that I'm going to say, then just uh, stick around for the rest of the video. So Brian Casella has made jokes early on wearing a Viva Vendetta mask when asked uh, if to wear a mask to go into a grocery store. He's made jokes about wearing masks and how they're ineffective and then still traveling to this day and complaining about having to wear a mask on a plane. Brian, I, th- I thought you were big on following the rules. Do you not understand that we're in a once in a hundred year pandemic and that we had a horrific leader in charge that was unable to contain this? So yeah, dude, I-, I thought you were so mentally strong that you could handle putting a piece of cloth over your face. But then, you know, you'll make jokes and you'll act like, and you'll, you'll post little petty memes like this saying, oh, wearing a mask doesn't work. And then you'll compare it to the flu and then you'll act like, the guy asking the question or the guy saying the stuff gets mad at the end because you refuted his logic. But you're comparing two different types of viruses. One's novel. One's been around for a long time. We know more than one about the other. So just that that in of itself at its core, I am, uh, I am destroying this objection and ripping it out at the root the way you taught. This argument is facile on its face. So for you to try to be funny about this is irresponsible and stupid. To, to, to have a sense of humor and joke about things is one thing, but when you're joking about a pandemic that's killing thousands of people a day, and we're approaching 300,000 at this point, but then hospitals are overwhelmed too, but I guess you don't have any healthcare workers in your family, do you? I guess you don't have anybody in your life that's deeply affected by this. Maybe when you do, maybe you'll have some empathy, but maybe you shouldn't have to have somebody in your life that's been affected by this. Maybe you could just be a decent person do your fucking job, wear a mask, social distance, pivot. Didn't you make videos on Modern Success or on your YouTube channel about pivoting during the pandemic, but you still want to act like everything's fine, everything's normal? It's not. So then you'll go on to post shit like this. When we do finally have a vaccine, this is the one that really enraged me. You think that's cute? You think because you're a huge fan of 300 that you can post some Xerxes meme and act like you're Leonidas, you know what Leonidas would do? He'd take the fucking vaccine because he'd want to protect his people, you jackass. Pretty much, if you want to make it law to wear masks, lock down the country again and get vaccines, we're going to have some big problems. Yeah, hey, Brian, you and your followers that are anti-mask and anti-lockdown and anti-safety are the reason why this pandemic is still around. And of course, our feckless government too. I'm not just going to put all the blame on Trump, even though he is the leader and he failed miserably. And that's why he lost. And the fact that you support him is for another video on your incongruence. So you'll post stuff like this, claiming that there's something wrong with vaccines. What's wrong with vaccines? Oh, we're, we're, are, do, you, do you know more than the experts? Don't you teach in modern success that you need to be an authority in your field? But apparently, as soon as the people that spent years in medical school and years developing vaccines, but because you watch some stupid documentary or some sort of pandemic video, that automatically means you know more. Look, there's a lot of things wrong with our government and a lot of things wrong with our country. And maybe there is some behind the scenes shit going on that we don't, we don't see. But the level of conspiracy that you're putting out there is dangerous and doesn't apply to this pandemic. So the fact that you choose to align yourself with these crazy people that aren't just crazy, but they're harmful with the information, disinformation that they're sharing is why I have a bone to pick with you. Secondarily, you've aligned yourself with one of the most toxic, weak, horrible leaders, horrible businessmen, horrible father, horrible husbands of all time. And you hung your hat on that. I watched your video about why you said you would vote for Donald Trump the second time. That might be worth another video, but you really didn't say anything of substance. It was a bunch of platitudes. It was a bunch of, oh, he gets a bunch of hate for no reason. He's done stuff. You didn't really mention any major accomplishments, but because 
But I guess because you and your family immigrated here without any major drama, you can't relate to the other thousands of families that have been separated at the border. And then a policy that occurred became law under Trump and his person, Stephen Miller, the child separation policy that started under Trump. Again, because you haven't been directly affected by things, you can't have empathy or sympathy for other people that have. It's literally a concentration camp down there. People are dying in their own sewage. You know, you're only as strong as your weakest link, but then you choose to align yourself with losers like Donald Trump who failed to contain this virus. Pardon the um, quality of this picture, but he's basically the perfect trifecta of being a loser. He's the only president in history to have been impeached, never winning the popular vote in both elections, and he was a one-term president. What a fucking accomplishment. What a winner. Oh, but the election was rigged, wasn't it? Yeah, no. Too many Americans were deeply affected by this virus, and we came out in droves. My generation, which you're a part of, except you're just more misinformed, came out. And, of course, the minority communities came out, too, in droves. Not because Biden's a savior or because Biden's a cult of personality, but because we needed to get this dangerous person out there. When you have a group like QAnon, who I've seen you quote before, come out in support of this and assume that an entire political party is some sort of Satanist cabal of child pedophiles that like, what, harvest brain juice or fluid or whatever that is? The fuck is your problem, dude? It's stuff like this that causes domestic terrorism. You want to talk about terrorism? Wasn't there a guy that went and tried to shoot up a pizza joint because of some stupid Pizzagate shit? Like, I get that the Clintons aren't exactly great people, but just the stuff you post online. Oh, Clinton body count. <laughs> Killery. <laughs> have you not seen the shit that everybody else has done? And what, what, what evidence have you shown to back up that conspiracy? You can't because it's conspiracy. So yeah, all in all, I know you're a big shot. You might just laugh off what I have to say, even if I have substance and I have proof. A lot of it's memes, but a lot of it does have substance behind it. You're making a mountain out of a molehill and making a huge deal, and you're leading people that follow you and look to you for advice, and you are being reckless with the influence and the power you have. You think you're a hot shot because you go out and you don't wear a mask? I saw a video of you like thanking a guy in a Starbucks line. You approached a line full of people without wearing a mask. If you had come up and tried to hug me for being your bro, I would have pushed you. Again, I don't care if you could physically kick my ass. You stay the fuck away from me. That guy was probably just trying to be gracious, but that was irresponsible of you. What a guy. And yeah, like I've said, you think because you watch a couple of YouTube conspiracy videos that all of a sudden you're all knowing all knowledgeable you've somehow transcended the realm of the normies because you've gone down some ill-founded bullshit and no i don't have to watch this stuff either because my time is way more valuable than that and i know that it's not founded in reality again the biggest issue i have with you brian is incongruence you talk about being the best version of yourself sharpening the the blade of your intelligence your communication skills, everything. And you have all that going for you. But again, the glaring flaw is you've fallen susceptible to this. And I don't know if this video is going to convince you otherwise. I know I say fuck a lot. But I know you don't have a problem with cursing, so maybe I'm just going right up your alley. I'm speaking your language, right? And yeah, just when you post crap like this, quarantine is when you restrict a movement of sick people. Tyranny is when you restrict the movement of healthy people. Yeah, I don't know if you know this, but the coronavirus doesn't discriminate. It has fucked over sick and healthy people. I don't know if you know how a pandemic works, especially an airborne one, but if we don't all quarantine and social distance and wear masks, because those N95 masks actually work. They actually do filter out particles. Cloth masks actually do prevent the spread of particles. What, what, what do you have against epidemiologists that have been doing this for decades that actually know a thing or two about this? You think just because you watch some video or two or you follow some fringe conspiracy theorist that you know more than them, you're full of crap. And then this beautiful thing is, I guess, what I'll end off with. Again, to summarize, you're having large in-person events. 
you you have no regard for safety just because you or maybe nobody you know has gotten it doesn't mean that tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people have already been affected by this. Millions of people have been affected, and we don't know the long-term effects of this. It doesn't matter that the media is deeply flawed, but they still have a legal obligation to offer some semblance of reality. Otherwise, they can be sued for libel and for misinformation. Did you know that? Yeah, nice little tie-down question there for you. Uh, Does that make sense? Feelings will not and never will change. Hmm, Feelings. Facts, period, which is what this video is littered with and what I am giving to you. Real truth slashes through and shatters illusions, falsehoods, uncertainty. Oh, man, is this projection I'm sensing? We continue to witness the mistake affecting every single area of life in our society from daily life, relationships, sales, and much, much more. Okay, this is a crucial s- subject that most people are unaware of or simply deem insignificant and sweep it under the rug. Regardless of reactions, personal beliefs, or responses, truth is truth. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yet you disregard science. Plain and simple, you disregard science, you disregard the people that have been deeply affected by this. Team BC, BC mentality, unpolitically correct. Oh, aren't you a aren't you a rebel? Aren't you so cool? You talk about censorship, but then as soon as I bring truth to the modern success group, you ban me for a month. Good job. It's because you couldn't refute anything I said. I didn't say a single lie. And even in this video, even if I seem a little bit venomous in this video, not a single lie. You can't refute anything I'm saying. Please, I invite you to. But hey, look, if you don't want to talk to me or deal with me or refute me because I'm just a little YouTube channel, little guy with, a, with, with big ambitions, you could always go to Parlor. <laughs> oh, the irony, dude. Again, to close this all off, To close this all off. It's the incongruence, man. The incongruence of everything you teach, but then the way you carry yourself during the actions of this pandemic, which has revealed a lot of glaring flaws about this country, about a lot of businesses, about a lot of individuals, about families, politicians, what have you. We've all been tested, and in many ways... You have failed this year. I don't care if you grew your tribe of modern success. I don't care if you got more subscribers or you put out more content. You have morally failed this year by sharing the disinformation that you have, by not having a regard for people's safety, and for continuing to be a part of the population of people that are making this pandemic ongoing. Until there's a vaccine, of course. So if you and your other thousand anti-vaxxers not want to take it, whatever. The rest of us will move on, take it. And I don't know if you know this, but I actually got a flu shot earlier this month. I know I keep saying last night. I got a flu shot earlier this month, and uh, I'm feeling fine. Yeah. All right. So all in all, this was preventable. Uh, Brian, if you ever want to reach out to me, feel free. I will debate you. You will lose. Or if you want to just be uh, cordial about it, I can be cordial too. But I'm not happy with you. I'm very disappointed in you.